Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. Today, guys, we'll be doing my preview for Barcelona versus Bayern Munich, guys. The game on Wednesday, guys. So, like I said, guys, I'll be doing previews for the big matches. So there'll be another preview dropping later this week on Thursday. Previewing the El Clasico, guys. That was the first one Saturday. So, this is a massive week for Barcelona, guys. Probably one of the most important weeks in Barcelona season. Two massive gains. And it, it could also tell us how important, how good this Barcelona is. So we're going to talk about Bayern. We'll look at their lineup. We'll look at the Barcelona lineup. Let me just tell you guys who I want to start and that kind of stuff. We'll do a combined element for fun. I'll show you guys the head to head. And then we'll give a little prediction right at the end, guys. So it should be very fun and exciting, guys. I hope you guys do enjoy and enjoy this. And yeah, what, like I said, guys, without further ado, let's go and get started. So let's look at the Bayern 11. Let's look at the Bayern 11. So when I look at this Bayern team, guys, what stands out to me is the Bayern's attack is like Kane. I at least say are very good now at the time recording this video I don't know because we know Pavlovich is going to be injured and that's a huge blow for Byron because he's the engine in the midfield the thing is though Byron do have depth in position they have Paulina and I think Paulina is a quality player and I'm also checking is Musiela Musiela is out for a few days so Musiela might be back in time for the Barca game although I don't think expect to fix him as far as he started because obviously he's just from injury so he'll probably be on the bench so I think Byron will probably roll with the same 11 like they did against uh, Barca. The only difference is that uh, obviously Pavlovich will start over, obviously be Paulinho because obviously Pavlovich is injured. So I think the key thing for Byron is Harry Kane. Harry Kane and Olise are the two most important players for this team. Obviously, Kimmich is also very important. We know how good he is. And Kimmich is also very good defensively. And Neuer, of course, we know how good he is. I do think, though, uh, Byron do have an issue in the right-back position. I think the right-back position is somewhere we could specifically target because Guerrero isn't a natural, he isn't a right back, he's a left back. But because Byron are very light in that position, they're having to put Guerrero as a right back. So that is one area of the pitch that we can maybe exploit. And I think that's somewhere that Barcelona have the capabilities to exploit. So I think that's a position that we should try to expose uh, Byron for. Um, and everything else looks pretty good. And then obviously Byron's attack, left winger choice is not great. I think Gnabry and Sané. Although Gnabry's been decent this season. It hasn't been that bad. But Sané is brain dead. I don't rate Sané. And Coleman is very dangerous. You know how good Coleman can be. So I think Barca, we should definitely man Mark Kane. Yeah, we definitely have to man Mark. We definitely have to man Mark Olise. And we should probably man Mark Kimmich. So we, because Kimmich is a player that... Um, can give you the defensive output. It can also give you the attack output as well. I think Kimmich is a very talented player, and it'll be interesting to see what um, uh, what is it called um, company too. So because I would expect Kimmich to play as a midfielder, but we could maybe see Kimmich play as a right back against us. Uh, but it will be interesting to see what happens, guys, because Kimmich is a right back and is a DM. So maybe we'll see that. But the thing is, I think they'll only do that if Musiala is back. See, if Musiala, because I think is we don't know what Musiala is going to be like. I don't know if he's going to be fully fit for the game. So. I'm expecting he'll make the game, but I don't think he'll start. As for Barca, let's look at the lineup real quick for Barca. So we played against Sevilla, right? I Honestly, I think this 11 that we put out against Sevilla uh, was a pretty good 11. Uh, Lewandowski was amazing. Rafinha. I think the only two changes I would make to this 11 are I want to start... Um, I would actually start um, Pablo Torre um, for this game. Pablo Torre, I think, should start... Um, or Danny Olmo. Actually, I'll start Danny Olmo, actually. I think Danny Olmo should start ahead of Fati. Because as good as Fati was, he wasn't really that great in the game. I thought he was very underwhelming. I thought he was probably the more poor players for Barca against Sevilla. Uh, then I would say for the goalkeeper, we obviously have to start Shez. I'm sorry, we cannot start Pena against Bayern whatsoever. We cannot start Pena. Starting Pena would be disastrous. And I think the key for Barca in this game is that Lewandowski has to show up. Because remember, the last time we played against Bayern, Lewandowski missed so many point-blank chances. And I think this time around, he has to bury those chances. Rafinha also has to show up. Jan Mal has to show up. And I think one of the things I also want to see is Pedri. Pedri, for me, needs to show up. Because I love Pedri, and Pedri is one of my favorite Barca players. Let's keep it real, guys. As good as Pedri has been, Pedri's not really delivering. And I think this is where if Pedri wants to be taken at, and taken regarded as one of the best players in the world and be on that caliber and put in that kind of class, he has to show up in the game. Because it's, it's all good and all showing up against like Sevilla, Abar, Levante, etc. But if you don't show up against Bayern, you don't show up against Real Madrid, you don't show up against Man City, you don't show up against Atletico Madrid, I, I, I can't really respect you that high. So I want Pedri to deliver in this game. And I love Pedri. And I think Pedri is a quality player. 
And I also think it's going to be interesting to see who's going to partner alongside Pedri. Is it going to be Gavi? Is it going to be De Jong? Because Gavi and De Jong are just coming back from injury. So if I'm Hansi Flick, I would start Casado because Casado has been really good so far for this season. I think he's been one of our more underrated players so far for Barca this season. And I wouldn't change that whatsoever. So I would actually keep Casado there. And well, because the thing is, you want to bring continuity, right? You don't want to start De Jong and start like um, De Jong or like Gavi because they have just come off from long term injuries. So they're going to obviously be rusty. Now, Casado can maybe play for like 60 minutes. They can like bring in De Jong and you can bring in Gavi. But for right now, I think it's better just to start Casado because I think Casado has been great. And I, I got to get credit to Iago Martinez. And Iago Martinez, Kubarsi, I formed a really good partnership at the back. Um, and I think it's been good to see. And I think Kune is also having a great season. I think he's also been one of the more underrated players. So I think for Barca, as I said, man, make two changes to 11. I want you, I want to see Danny almost start, and I want to see Chesney start. Because if we make those two changes, then I think we're in a good position. Now we get to the fun part, guys. And I, we get to the fun part. I want to know you guys in the comments below who you guys are picking here. Because this is going to be where the dilemma comes in, guys. Um, a combined 11, guys. You know, I like to do combined 11s for these kind of matchups like this. So I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. So let me know your combined 11 as well. So... Goalkeeper for me, um, it's between Neuer and Pena or Chesney. Um, I'm going to go with Neuer. And Neuer is the best keeper of the bunch, so I don't even think that's a question. Uh, right back, I'm going to go with Kunde. I think Kunde has been better than whoever Byron's right back is. You know, Conrad Limer, uh, Kimmage, whatsoever. Kunde has been clear both. So, yeah. On uh, the left back, I'm going to actually go with Alfonso Davis. I think Alfonso Davis is actually having an underrated so season so far. I think he's been better than Balde. Uh, center back, I'm going to go with Kim Min Jae. Um, Gotta do this stupid thing. We search of Bayern Munich. Oh my Jesus! This is Bayern. What? Bayern Munich. Damn. Um. Okay, I'm gonna play Yanko Martinez for now. I don't know why Kim is not. Okay, there we go. I type Byron. So M and J. There we go. Kim and J. Yeah, I think Kim and J is better than Upon Kano. Upon Kano for me is error bro. So that's why I didn't put him in there. And I think Aero Marcy is better than Marcy. Marcy still has some mistakes in him. And then I'm going to put Kimmich as the DM. I think he's been quality. Um, so you got to put him there. And then I'll put Pedri. Pedri. Uh, then I'm going to put Pavlovich. I know Pavlovich is not going to make the game, but I think Pavlovich has been one of Byron's best players this season. Um, actually, you know what? Should we put Musiela? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to put Musiela. I'm going to put Musiela over um, Pavlovich. Um, so I'm going to go Pedri, Musiela. And then uh, left winger um, is going to be um, Odise. Odise has been really good. I know he's not. Um, I know he's traditionally a right winger, but I feel like um, we got to put Odise in. He's just been one of Byron's best players, so I'm going to put him in there. Um, let's pretend he can play as right winger, uh, left winger. And between Kane and Lewandowski, I feel like Lewandowski's been slightly better, but you can make an argument for Kane. I think Kane's also been as, just as good, if not better. And I'm going to go with Lamine Yamal as my attack. So that is my front three, guys. Um, what do you guys think of the comments below? Do you guys think it's a fair front three? I think it's a pretty fair 11. And I'd like to say I think both the teams are very similar in their respective sense um, and everything like that. So I think it's a pretty uh, fair 11. Now let's look at the head-to-head -head records. The head-to-head -head right here, guys. We're obviously going to play on Wednesday. So as you can see, Bayern, Barca, two wins, one draw. And it wins through Bayern. Yeah. Um, you can see the highs. I'm not going to obviously show the highs for probably right reason. But you can see right here, the last two times been in group stage matches. 2020-2023 edition, 5-0 aggregate. And then 6-0, 21-22. And then the quarter was 8-2, 24-2015. Barca 5 3 on aggregate. And then the semifinal 7 0. And then 5 0 to Barca on aggregate. And then 1998 99, Barca. Uh, Byron 1 1. So, now let's get to the fun part, guys. My prediction. So when it comes to a prediction, guys, it's a tough one to call because I feel like both Barca and Bayern have been very good this season. I think both the Barca and Bayern have been like, you could probably argue the best two teams in the world right now, just by current form, just by the way they've been playing.
you can make a make argument. What I think is going to be interesting for Barca is the high line because both teams I expect will play a high line in this game, and it should be very interesting. I think the midfield battle is going to be very interesting. The likes of Kimmich and Pablo Bitch, well, actually, no, not sorry, Pablo Bitch, Musiala, Paulinha up against um, Frankie De Jong, Gavi, and Pedri, and Casado, and then obviously the back line, Kim and Jay. It's going to be a very interesting one. I feel like both these teams are very even, and very, very even. I think there's a lot of goals from both teams. Which is why I'm actually going to predict a 2-2 draw. I'm predicting a 2-2 draw. Um, and I just feel like for me, both teams just cancel each other out with the goals, the defense, the high line, everything. And I think it should be a good game. It should be a good game, guys. So that's my prediction, guys. I'm going to predict a 2-2 draw. So I want to do your guys' predictions in the comments below. What do you guys think of my thoughts in both of the teams? Am I being objective? Am I being fair? Let me know all that, guys. And, of course, we're doing a live reaction on Wednesday for the Champions League game. So I hope you guys did enjoy. So please run a like and subscribe. And peace. Out.